What's up, guys? It's your boy, PJ the Paradox Nerd, back again with another video. And today we'll be doing an unboxing and review of the Sideshow Collectibles Wolverine Bust. Yo, let's do this. Guys, I am super stoked to do this unboxing and review of this Wolverine Bust. I usually don't collect busts, but I had to make an exception for this one because this bust looks really, really good. And uh, yeah, it was also sculpted by Daniel Bell. For those of you who are familiar with my channel, I'm a huge fan of Daniel Bell and this was a no-brainer for me. So enough of the small talk, let's unbox this bad boy. But first, I want to give a quick shout out to Heroes and Villains Gallery for hooking me up with such a great price for this bust. If you're looking for great prices on hot toys, statues, and other high-end collectibles, Please hit them up on Instagram and tell them the Paradox Nerd sent you. All right, so let's check out the box art before we unbox this bad boy. And as you can see here in the front, you have the X-Men logo. And here in the back, you have some claw marks. So really nothing special to this box art. So let's open this bad boy up right now. All right, so let's open it up. And uh, wow, you see the uh, the statue is packaged all nice and neat. Let's check it out. And here we got his body. And I have 495 out of 750. Okay, looking good so far. Wow, look at the sculpt on his arms. That looks really good. Right, let's put that to the side there. Let's check out the other arm. And that looks pretty good. I know there were quite a few complaints about the little gap here on his shoulder armor. But Mine doesn't look that bad. All right, let's actually put it on, see how it looks. Okay, looking good so far, guys. All right, here's the claws. Ooh. Wow, they're not as sturdy as the Logan claws. Uh, the claws in Logan were definitely made out of metal. This one is made out of plastic, which is kind of disappointing. But uh, I mean, it still looks good. The paint job looks pretty good on these claws. But still, would have liked these to be uh, metal. So let's put the claws on. Oh, there you go. Pretty easy to put on. And last but not least, let's check out the portrait. And wow, that looks really good, guys. This is probably one of the best Wolverine portraits I've ever seen. Jeez, look at that, guys. That looks really good. Love the sculpt of his teeth. Just his facial expression looks so badass, guys. Really impressed with this, uh, this portrait. I'm telling you guys, Daniel Bell is like a living legend in the, uh, the sculpting world. He is a master of his craft telling you all right so let's put on the portrait voila and that looks really good guys i'm so happy that i bought this bust kind of wish we got this in a full quarter scale statue but it is what it is and uh, i'm kind of glad that uh, i was able to pick up this uh this bust but yeah let's uh dive into this review right now all right so let's take a closer look at this wolverine bust and as you can see the anatomy sculpt on this bust looks absolutely freaking fantastic guys and look at the arms they look huge 
and they're so well sculpted. Love how the veins are popping out of his arms. Really love how the claws are nice and long. But my only problem with the claws is that it's not made out of metal like uh, the claws uh, from the Logan uh, Premium Format. Kind of wish we got those claws in this bust. I'm not sure why Sideshow went, you know, a little cheap here with the, with the claws, but it is what it is and it still looks good. I think it's painted really well. Can't really notice that it's plastic unless you touch it. Now going back to the anatomy, I love how the top of his back is really well sculpted. And that portrait, guys, let's take a closer look at that portrait. Damn, that looks really, really, really good, guys. It's probably one of my favorite Wolverine portraits ever made. Really, really impressed. But yeah, overall, I am super, super happy with my purchase. Like I said before, I don't usually collect busts, but I really had to make an exception with this one. I'm a huge fan of Daniel Bell, and I would say 95% of his work is amazing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I really hope that uh, Daniel Bell, if you're listening, if you could, you know, sculpt some Star Wars statues, that would be super, super awesome, man. I mean, I love you doing some Marvel stuff and some DC stuff, but you gotta show some uh, Star Wars love, man. That would be so awesome if you did. All right, guys, so here is the Wolverine bust next to the Wolverine Premium Format, and I think they look really good together. I think they display well together, and uh, I'm really happy with my decision in picking up this Wolverine bust. But I might have a better idea in how I'm gonna display this Wolverine bust. All right, so what I was thinking was taking the extra torso from the XM Cyclops statue and pairing it up with the Wolverine bust and here they are and I think they look phenomenal. I think they look great, they display well. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are about this pairing. Would you rather see this pair up or would you rather see the Wolverine bus pair up with the Wolverine premium format? Let me know in the comments down below. All right guys, so that wraps it up. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing and review of this Wolverine bust. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on this, uh, on this bust. Uh, also, if you like the content, please uh, hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel. I got more content coming your way. And uh, yeah, always remember to do what you love, love what you collect. Take care, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.